it's Pete from Cheap Homesteading and today we're cutting a little bit of firewood trying to get my firewood done for the year um, but I just remembered that I didn't do an update on my 372 XP uh, holes for my clone saw um, last year at the end of the year I was finishing up my firewood and then all of a sudden it started stalling out carrying on then my John Red seized and I thought man do I have just dirty fuel or wrong mix or something happened and um, I put a new plug in it, I put new filters, it was acting like it was running out of fuel. Uh, you'd fire it up, you'd give it, and it would just blah, die. And then you'd give it and blah, die. Um, so all summer, I just didn't have enough time to take a look at it. And then yesterday, I thought, I'm just going to try to fire it up. So I did fire it up, it would stall. Um, I checked, the fuel filter was fine, everything. And then I actually found what was wrong with it. I wish I kind of filmed it. But I can show you um, what happened to my saw just in case you have this saw or a, a Husqvarna or any saw for that matter. Um, somehow I got dirt into the carburetor and it's a pretty easy fix if you know where it is. So I'm going to show you. Here's the G372 XP Holds Forma. You know, the good old saw. This is probably one of the best purchases I've ever bought. This thing is an awesome, awesome saw for a clone saw. Um... I've replaced a few pieces of plastic. They replaced the handle. I replaced the um, recoil cover. Uh, there's a few other plastic pieces that probably need to be changed like this one. Um, but otherwise, it's hanging in there really, really well. This is on to the sixth year, I think. Um, I messed up one of the reviews. I think I said it was like six year review or something. And it ended up being five, and then people were calling me out on it. Uh, it was kind of funny. But anyways, it was the fifth year review. This is probably getting close to the sixth once this winter comes. So um, the saw really did hang in there really, really good. I paid 250 American for it So uh, when I bought it. So it was one of the first Holtzform uh, 372 XP chainsaws that I ever seen. Uh, for sale so i think i got one of the first ones anyways so it's been a great saw i'm gonna show you what it is here okay so the first thing you do is check your fuel filter which your fuel filter is in the tank uh, you gotta fish it out um but i had the fuel filter and I changed it and it still stalled out so I started to take the carburetor off and I thought you know what maybe it's not even um, I need to take the whole carb off maybe I just need to remove the plate and see if the screen is plugged man Ooh. There's some pressure in there. Okay. I'm making a mess. So, you don't even have to take the saw apart. You kind of go like this. Here, there's a little tiny screen. And that screen was full of sawdust. I don't really understand how sawdust got in there because the only way it can get into so the only way it can get into here is if it gets sucked up through the fuel line so i don't know if the uh, chinese fuel filter has too big of holes and little tiny particles of dust can collect in here and the screen that's actually in the carburetor is a little finer and just collects there over time. Whatever it is, uh, when I cleaned that out, the thing ran wonderfully. So I got some firewood sitting here, it needs to be cut up. So we're gonna have a chance just to try out the saw. I'll show you, the saw is running absolutely spectacular. So I'm pretty happy that it's up and running again. Um, man, when that thing went down, it really put me behind because that saw can cut 
a ton of wood in a day. I don't know what it is, but it is just an incredible saw. I've never ran a Husqvarna 372 XP, but I can't imagine it's much better than this. Uh, this thing is an absolutely great saw, and uh, it has definitely saved a lot of time around here. So uh, we're going to start cutting it up, and I'll film it a little bit, and uh, you can kind of see how well it's running. If your Husqvarna 372 or your Holzforma G372 XP uh, starts stalling out like it's running out of fuel, uh, I would first change the filter, but second, I'd make sure you take that cover off and make sure that that screen isn't full of sawdust. So I just wanted to tell you guys, in case you ran into it, it's one thing to check. So that's about enough for today, and you guys have a good one.